expert and wine television presenter. And today, I hope I'm gonna get you extremely excited about the category of Vin de France wines. This category essentially means that winemakers don't just have to stick to blending grapes from one specific region, and they can also have a lot of fun with different blends inside the winery. All the wines today come from Virgin Wines, and they're all 2019 vintage, so are meant to be enjoyed young and fresh. They are also all around 10 pounds to 12 pounds, which is fantastic value for these extremely versatile and food-friendly wines. This is the first one, and it's Le Zeitgeist Blanc. I wanted to start with this because this one is 100% Sauvignon, and it's a really light, bright wine. You have to smell, because 90% of what you taste is what you smell, and when you smell it, you do get one of kind of lemon rind, lemon sherbet. Mm. And there's real zip, there's zest. Now, I think this is a really refreshing aperitif wine. I love it with salt and vinegar crisps for an easy one. Olives also work. This at around 12 pounds is a really wonderful way to get the evening started. The second white we're gonna have, I call the fried food and pastry enhancer. The real name is Toi Calissé Sauvignon Blanc. It's again, 100% Sauvignon Blanc, around 10 pounds. And the reason why I call it pastry enhancer is suddenly when you smell this, you get even more intense fruit. The body's gone up a notch, the intensity of the fruit has gone up a notch, you're getting more Granny Smith apples along with those lemon flavours. So I just think this would work so well with fish and chips, chips with vinegar, Cornish pasties. If you're veggie, you can just, you know, buy some wonderful spinach and feta pastries. This is, this is a fun one, guys. So wine number three is interesting because it's actually a blend. Um, it's from the Les Arbousiers brand. So there's Sauvignon Blanc, which gives a lovely leafy freshness. There is Grosse Mansan, which gives a kind of tropical perfume and exotic fruit notes. And then there's also Colin Bar, which kind of gives that a raciness. So this is when you really just want to shuffle your nose in there and you can already just smell. There's like quite a lot going on. I'm absolutely getting gooseberry uh, from Sauvignon Blanc, plus a little bit of kind of leafy capsicum, lovely bright acidity. And really smooth. So I would call this almost the vegetable or salad enlivener, like edamame bean and goat's cheese here. I think it absolutely has the acidity to go well with goats and sheep's cheeses, but there's a lovely kind of leafy herbaceous freshness, which would go so well with any kind of summer salads, raw tomatoes. Fantastic value for money for a really fun and versatile wine. The fourth Sauvignon is a really fun blend. It's called On The Drops and it's inspired by the French obsession for cycling. So there's a cyclist on the label there. And it's a really fun blend of 50% Sauvignon Blanc, so you get that zest, and then 50% of that Grosse Mansan, which I love because it gives that wonderful perfume. So when I smell this, I'm getting absolutely lifted kind of leafy elements, but also some warmer fruit, some guava in there. Mm. Absolutely, some guava, lovely pink lady apple. It's really fleshy, but you still have the bright acidity of the Sauvignon Blanc. It's a really fantastic mix. So you can have fun with more traditional flavors like tartar sauce and fish. You could even play around with roast beef and horseradish. You could step things up a notch with doing a lemongrass chicken stir fry, or you can just do something really easy like what I did and uh, have it with falafel and pomegranate, and it goes really well with that warm cumin spice. And this is also around 11 pounds. The Trois Calissés Essentiales. Now this has been voted probably the top French wine which Virgin sells, and it's 11 pounds, and I can see why, because when you smell it, all of that comes together, you get this lovely kind of peach iced tea, apricot element, as well as, again, you still get some of the lemon zest and some herbaceous freshness. Mm. And then on the palate, it's pulpy 
it's juicy, it's creamy. I think this Sauvignon Blanc blend will appeal to Chardonnay lovers. Lots of people who love Chardonnay find Sauvignon Blanc a bit difficult because they find it too high in acid or too lean and mean. But something like this, which is so intense in its kind of warm quince fruit, um, but also very creamy and full bodied, would really appeal. And it's unoaked, so the Sauvignon Blanc fans will love its purity and its zest. So I call this the personality filled all rounder. I mean, you could have great fun with this. I mean, this could go well with uh, plowman sandwiches and kind of cheesy like platters with different kinds of chutneys. I have the very simple kind of aged cheddar here with Branston pickle because it would absolutely go with that. It would be fantastic even with bangers and mash because it could stand up to stuff like pork, but it would go with the creaminess of the mashed potatoes. This is an awesome wine. 11 pounds and I can see why it's, it's essential. And finally, we had to wrap up with a red. How could we talk about French wines and not have a classic? And we are gonna have a wonderful Syrah and Grenache blend. These two grapes work fantastically together. It might change slightly for 2020, but this is around 10 pounds. Mm, I'm already getting, picking up some clove too, because this does go to a little bit of oak. succulent tannins, which I mean by that, you don't get that astringent thing at the back of the palate, it actually feels very plump, succulent of the palate, it's juicy, you get dark plums, dark cherries, a little bit of black currant tea element too, so it's a, like a lovely light finesse too. So I say this is medium body, it's got wonderful acidity, this is what I call the comfort food companion, it would be fantastic with pork pies, devils on horseback, a charcuterie board, cocktail sausages and ketchup, all of those wonderful things. Um, it's very, very, very quaffable, so you'd absolutely enjoy it on its own. So I hope I haven't just got you hungry, I hope I've also got you extremely thirsty. Van de France have paired up with Virgin Wines to give readers the opportunity to win a mixed case of Van de France wines. This competition is running from March the 8th to March the 19th, and all you have to do is head over to tastefrance.com to participate. Sorted.